one or okay um pierre could you handle muting everyone for me uh as soon as you make me co-host Okay, we're just going to run with it because I can't make you co-host because Nancy's, uh, I'm co-host. <laughs> oh, moment. okay. So Nancy, if you could make me co-host and Nancy can mute everybody too. Okay, great. All right. Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me today. It's the last class of the year. So we're going to finish up through cross hands. But first, we're going to start with those warm ups. We're all doing a lot of sitting nowadays. So starting at the top with the head, drawing the chin to the chest and back up. Nice, slow movements, whatever pace. OK. So now we're gonna go side to side. So coming back to neutral, looking over the shoulder like single web, back to center and to the other side. Nice full range of motion. One more round. And then we're gonna come back to center and put it all together. So chin to chest, ear to shoulder, dropping the head back and around to the other side. Moving at whatever pace feels good for your body. One more circle. And when we draw the chin to the chest, we're gonna go the other direction, ear to shoulder, back and around. One more time. Chin to chest and then lifting back into that neutral position. All right, into the shoulders. So we have the two options. You can just draw them back, just using the shoulder small arm movements, or if it feels better, lift the arms all the way up. Nice, big range of motion. Whatever feels comfortable for your body. So maybe one or two more circles, and then we're gonna go the other direction. So shoulders up to the ears, nice big circles, or arms all the way extended out kind of like when we were in gym class. One or two more circles. And if you're going in the forward direction, we're gonna take a, a roll back of the shoulders. Okay, moving in to the elbows, just like wave hands, rotating the arms, or if you wanna include the wrists, coming into the center. And then we're gonna go the other direction. Circling the arms. We're coming in from the center. One more round. And then we'll work on the wrists. So maybe shaking out the arms and then rolling, circling the wrists, full range of motion, nice big movements or together, including the elbows. And then we're gonna go the other direction. Good, release the arms, maybe shake them out a little bit. And then working on the waist, so taking the feet, shoulders distance apart, and just turning side to side. So if you'd like to keep rounded arms, feel free, or let the arms swing. Turning, looking back. Warming up the waist. And then we're going to slowly ease off. Coming back to center. All right, a couple more joints. So working on the hips again, feet or shoulders distance apart. You can place the hands on the hips if you'd like and making a circle. So out to the side, out front around and back, nice big movements. Maybe one more circle 
And then we're gonna go the other direction. Just a couple more times, and then we'll move on to the knees. Okay, back to center. Now again, we have those two options. So we can bring the feet together, hands on the knees, and making circles. Or we can step them wide and make two circles. Whatever feels good for your body. We'll do a couple more circles and then we're gonna go the other direction. Just two more. And then we're gonna stand back up and move on to our ankles, last little bit. So if you wanna hold onto a wall, a chair, to help your balance, feel free. We're gonna lift up one leg and we're gonna Make a circle, pointing the toes, circling, and then the other direction. Making that circle as big as you can. And then we're gonna relax that leg. Change, find your balance first, pick up, and circling the other ankle. Back the other direction. And then release. Okay, let's shake it all out. The last little bit. Feet are hips distance apart, drawing the shoulders up to the ears and throwing the body down. So starting slowly and then speeding up a little bit, really throwing the body down, shaking everything out. And then we're just gonna slowly ease off and then maybe shake it all out. Okay, everyone warmed up now? All right, so we always start with practice. So we're gonna start at the first cross hands and we're gonna go all the way through to that right heel kick that we finished with last week. And then we'll see if anyone has any questions before moving on through the end of section two, okay? So let's start in cross hands. I'm gonna turn and face the other direction so we can all move the same way. Feet are shoulders distance apart. Sinking down, relaxing the waist, right arm on the outside, shoulders down, head lifting up. Okay, embrace the tiger, shifting the weight, turning. Separate the arms, two half circles, step, open up and show striking. Roll back, connect and turn. Touching to the forearm so we can press out. Open up the arms, pull back, sit up the palms and push out. Fist under elbow, flatten the arms, open circle, Push out to the side, step, warding off, rotate, making a fist, empty stance on the heel. Repulse monkey number one, natural step back, striking number two, circle, shoulders down, one arm forward, one back. Number three, Circle touch, rotating on the heel. Circle the arms, stepping out, splitting energy for diagonal flying. Raise hands, open up, empty stance on the heel for step forward. Circle the arms, white crane, Spreads its wings. Brush knee. Two circles. Step. Open. Strike. Needle at sea bottom. 
pull back, come up on the heel, change to the toes, sinking down. Fan through the back, touching at the wrist, step for a bow stance, one forward, one back. Turn body, make a fist so we can chop and strike with our bow stance. Parry, block, and punch. Circle down, parry out. Show your block with your step and punch. Grasping the bird's tail. Ward off right. Roll back. Press. And push. Single whip. Making the hook. Showing block and then stripe. Wave hands like clouds. Turning. Open the hook. Step in. Number two. Turning the shoulders, rotate the palm at center, number three. Step into the corner direction for single whip. High pat on horse, move back, empty stance on the toes, show striking. Horizontal circling. For separation kick, close the arms, stand up, look, kick, bend the knee, change the arms. Sitting down, circling for the left separation kick. Close, stand up, look, kick, bend the knee. Turning, extend the leg. Sitting down if you'd like, stand up, curl back the toes, left heel kick, bend the knee. Brush knee, right arm comes in front, circling. Open up, strike. Brush knee on the other side. Circle, step. Open up, strike. Punching down, just like brush knee. This time the hand comes to the hip, making a fist. Open up, punching knee level. Turn body. Chop and strike. Parry, block, and punch. Connect out. Circle down, parry out, block, hold back your opponent, and punch. Right heel kick, connecting, circle the right arm to meet, stand up, curl back the toes, kick, bend the knee. Strike tigers, stepping on the same line, arm comes across, bow stance, look, two circles, making fists at the end, the other side. So move back the weight, turning, arms don't change. Arms come to the side, we step out and look, circle the arms, making two fists. Connecting out, coming up into a right heel kick. Stand up, still have our fists open as we kick, bend the knee. Turning on the heel, twin fist, sitting down, make the fist, rotate, striking to the temples. Left heel kick, arms circle down, open up your fists, curl back the toes, kick, 
bend the knee. Turning, sink down, extend the leg, walk around or spin. Right arm circles to connect, stand up, right heel kick, bend the knee. Okay. Does anyone have any questions on the movements we've just gone over? Yali, no? Well, I did fall over once. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, everyone's doing so good. This is the hardest section of the form, right? Balancing on one leg the whole time. <laughs> the great work. Okay, no questions on what we worked on last week, turn body or right heel kick? Okay. So today we're gonna to work on the end of the form and that's the right heel kick to parry block and punch. And then we have two repeat movements from the first section. So parry block and punch really is a repeat movement. We just have a bit of a different transition this time. So if you've completed the whole form or even the first section up until now, you'll see that there's multiple transition types into this movement, okay? So this is just another variation. So I'm gonna demonstrate one time and then we'll break it down, okay? So I'm gonna go the same direction we would go when we're practicing. So we've come from our right heel kick. We're gonna lower down, step one line to side, arms rotate. We step out, making the fist blocking, and then we punch. So if you notice, there's a, a lot missing from parry block and punch, right? So we're kind of just doing the end of this movement. So let's talk about the footwork first. So I'm gonna face you. So we're coming from our right heel kick, okay? Maybe I'll mirror you guys. So we're from our right heel kick. We're gonna lower down and we're gonna step one line to, to the side. We're gonna turn the foot to the corner, move our weight forward so we can pick up and step out for a normal bow stance, okay? So let's do that a couple of times. You can face the camera. I'll be your mirror, okay? So we're in that heel kick. We just came down, right legs up, toes pointing down. We're gonna lower down, touch, now take a moment, look down at your feet. If you pull your foot back, are you stepping down one line to side? Okay, good. We're gonna... I think Cheryl is frozen. Um, until she comes back, uh, I will just pick up and continue. I don't, I'm not in a good space, but hopefully you'll be able to see my feet. And uh, when she comes back, she can, she can resume. Okay, so Up into the corner. Oh, uh, there she is. She's back. Oh, I'm sorry, Pierre. Yeah, no, uh, you froze for a while, Cheryl. Oh, I'm right next to the internet too, and it's all brand new. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. So right. we lost you uh, when you were talking about stepping one line to side. Okay, so let's go back to the kick, okay? So left foot to corner direction, right legs up, lower down, stepping one line to side, foot opens to the corner, shift the weight forward so you can pick up, step out for a normal bow stance. So everyone take a moment, check your footwork. How'd your bow stance come out? Nice. Any questions? I have a question, Cheryl. Yeah. So um, I know the footwork, but I'm wondering about my weight shifting. So when I come out in the uh, empty stance, mm -hmm. what I want to do is put all my weight on the right leg as I lift and go into my next one. But what I see you doing is moving your moving your hips forward. And I think I'm angling mine to the right. How can I? like keep my weight centered. I, I mean, all well, so, so it's, it's not an empty stance. It's a transition step. Oh, 
So it, it is it is the same um, requirement as an empty stance. We're stepping the, that one line. We're not stepping shoulder width. We're stepping on that one line between the feet, but it's not an empty stance. So it's just a transition. So I am pausing and breaking it down, but when you do it, you're gonna stand, you're gonna sit, sink down, and you're gonna immediately move that weight forward so you can keep moving for your next bow stance. Okay. And you just try to do the best you can to keep your hips level when your left leg is off the ground. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's funny you say that because it's something I've been working on, right? It looks really good when you do it. <laughs> well, so it, it, it comes down to a lot of practice, right? Because you don't want to come here and then shift over, right? You want to shift forward. So of course you're going to come a little bit to the side, but you don't want to be sitting your hip out. Can you see the difference? Yes. <laughs> Which is what I do. Or I turn my body to like poise a little bit or pose a little bit on that one leg. And then I turn it back trying to do, you know, it's a little awkward. So you can, you can just practice transitioning from one bow stance to another. So let's do it again. So from the 45 degrees, our right legs up. Okay. Sitting down nice and slow. Your hips should be in center here. Okay. When we open the foot, we're gonna move our weight forward. So feel like they're still in the center. You can even put your hands on your hips to feel if they're moving when you step out for your next bow stance. So you don't wanna feel like you're going like this at all, right? So if you come back and pick up, you should still be level. Does that help at all, Marion? Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, it does. I just don't have the same control, but it takes years. We get better every day. We practice. Yali? Cheryl, do you bring, when you do the bow stance, mm -hmm. do you bring the left leg in a little bit and then out? Or straight it, out? It's going to have to go out a little bit anyway. Yeah, it's not. Um, so when you're doing the transition, I'm not going to keep it out to the side like this, but I'm not going to bring it all the way in like this. So when I do this, it's a, a medium, right? We're meeting in the middle because we're not open to where I would step, right? This would be shoulder width. This would be all the way in and I'm closing off my hips. We're in between. Okay. So it's, it's about finding that balance for yourself. Let's see, Yali. Can you do it one time? Okay. That's good. So we wanna be careful not to raise our center when we're doing this, right? So when we're doing these transitions, we wanna step and we don't wanna lift up and step back down. So once we start the form, we stay at this level. So I'm not gonna change. You see how my height isn't changing? Right. So I don't want to move the weight forward, stand up, and then sink back down. This will also help with your balance, too, right. because you're not going up and down. You're going straight. It's almost like you're squatting and walking. Yes. <laughs> that looked much better. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Any other questions on the footwork? Okay, so the arm movements. So we're in our kick, okay? So the right arm's pretty easy because we're just gonna turn it up. So the palm just rotates and then it's gonna come down to our hip, making a fist. Make sure our elbow's open, we don't wanna pull back, okay? And then it's just punching out, just like every other parry block and punch, okay? So our right palm is sitting up. It's gonna turn over. It's gonna pull back to our hip, making a fist, and then punching out. Nice flat palm. Good. Okay, left arm, right? Left arm, hand's gonna come into the shoulder. So remember we were talking about three-dimensional space? Watch my arm. The hand's just moving in. Good, palm sits up, 
Yep, because we're gonna connect out for blocking, okay? So left arm again, comes to the shoulder, bending at the elbow, good, and then goes out, holding our opponent back, and then it moves slightly back because our body squares up. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, both arms together, you ready? Right palm turns over, left hand comes in front of the shoulder. Right hand's gonna come back, make a fist, you're gonna hold back with your left arm. And then you're gonna punch in line with your shoulder. Nice. Okay, that looks really good. Any questions on the arm movements before we put them together? Okay, all right. So if you'd like to face the camera, I'll do it mirroring you. So we're gonna start in our right heel kick. So have your nice arms, even extension. We don't want one short and one long, even. Looking over the right arm. We're gonna sit down, the arms don't change. As we move our weight forward, we're gonna rotate the palm and the left hand comes in front of the shoulder. When we step out, we're gonna hold back our opponent and make our fist. And then we're gonna turn and punch. Good. Okay, let's do it again. So from our right heel kick, sitting down, arms don't change, weight moving forward, come to the corner. Step out, everything arrives together, and then moving the weight forward for punching. Let's see, everyone hold for one second. Looks good. Everyone's in line with the shoulder, right? Hand points to the forearm center. Good. Okay, one more time. I'll go the same direction as you. Okay, so we've done our right heel kick. We're gonna sit down, touch, turn, weight moving forward, rotate the arms. This is one of our checkpoints here. Then we're gonna one forward, one back, connect out, and then punch. Good. Yes, okay, let's do it one more time. So from our right heel kick, sitting down, touch, turn, rotate the arms, weight forward, step out, block, hold your opponent back, and then punching. Let's see, oh, it looks good. It looks really good. Does anyone have any questions on this movement? You wanna do it again? Okay. <laughs> All right, so from that right heel kick, let's start, make sure we have a good corner. Standing up, arms up, we've just kicked. No stop points here, so we're just gonna sit down, rotate, block and step, Punch and move the weight forward. Good. I'm gonna ask one more time before we get to the end of the form here. Any questions on this movement, this transition? Okay, so from here, we should already kind of know this. Has everyone gone through the second or the first section before they came to this class? Okay, so repeat movement, right? So apparent closing up. The feet don't change, so I'm gonna stay closer so you can see the arms, okay? So apparent closing up, two circles. So we're gonna reach out, open up, pull back, and then square up for push. Okay? So let's do that. Let's start at our kick. This is a lot of kicking every day, right? So if you wanna start with your foot down, feel free, okay? Because we're gonna lower down, step, 
open up, block, and punch. Apparent closing up. So the arms open to the sides, palms rotate up, and then you're breaking someone's grip over your left forearm. You're gonna turn, set your hands up for push, and then push out. Good. Ready for the real challenge? You guys do it now. No leader, I'll walk you through it. I'll give you the same cues. So starting from the right heel kick, arms are open, toes pointing down. We're gonna lower down, step one line to side, weight forward, change the arms, step out, one forward, one back, make a fist and punch. Apparent closing up, arms open to the side a little, palms rotate up, breaking someone's grip, Turning for push. Good. Okay, let's talk about a couple of things here with the arms, because this one's a little bit more difficult. I'm going to try to mirror you, but there's a first time for everything, right? So this is one of those. <laughs> okay, so we're here. So our arms, we're going to reach. So someone's, it's like someone's grabbed your wrist. And in Tai Chi, we yield, right? So we're going to let our opponent take us. And we're going to let them take us because then what's going to happen is we're going to break their grab, okay? So coming from our punch, the arm, this arm, elbow pulls out. This one reaches a little bit, okay? Palms are going to rotate, comes underneath and then breaking that grab as we pull back. Good, so the arm's sitting up a little bit here, so we're not too straight, arm's sitting up, good. Now from here, your right palm's just gonna rotate and sit up. Your left palm's gonna draw back. Yes, hands are in front of the chest, and then shoulder height. Now that looks good. Okay, one more time. So from our bow stance, left legs forward, open up, circling, breaking the grab, turning, sitting up the palms, and pushing out. Nice work. Okay, let's put it all together one more time. From our right kick, looking over the right palm, sitting down, rotate the palms, open, turn the waist to the side, then we square up for punching. Circling the arms, turning the waist as we break the grab over the forearm, Sit up the palms and then push out. Let's see. Looks good. Does anyone have any questions on that? All right, are you ready to finish the form or section two of the form, I should say? We can always end it here with the fake closing. So cross hands. Cross hands is it has its, its moments of challenges, right? Because we want to get our circling right. So we're in push. We're going to move back halfway. And we're going to circle and chop to the corner with our palm. The arms almost feel like kicking arms here. Then we're going to rotate, move the weight, step, and the right arm ends on the outside. So we want to make sure we're not too up. Arms are open. It should feel like the hug a tree kind of thing, still crossing. Okay. So let's do that all facing the same direction, okay? So from our push, nice bow stance here. Shift back, rotate the arm a little. 
Shifting all the way, turning your left foot to straight, chopping out to the corner. Rotate both arms. Step in shoulder width. Crossing the arms, right arm ends up on the outside. Let's see. Nice work. So remember, we're crossing at the forearms here. We're not going to cross at the wrists. We're going to cross at the forearms more. Looks good. Not too much. We want to find that perfect balance, right? <laughs> good. Okay, one more time. Let's do it from punching this time. So left legs forward. Right fist. Apparent closing up. Circling the arms. Breaking the grab. Squaring up, hands are ready so that we can push out. Cross hands, so moving the weight, turning the foot, chopping to corner, rotate the arms, step in, and finish. Okay, any questions on those? Nancy and Kelly did a good job too with section one. So I'm not surprised there's no questions. A quick one? Yeah, what do you got, Terry? You say squaring up when you're doing the apparent closeout. Is that? Oh, you went back to muted. When, <laughs> sorry, when you are talking about squaring up, is that when you're turning the waist? Yes. So when we do that movement, I'm just going to do it. Uh, it's going to be opposite for you, but. So we reach and our shoulders are a little extended. We square up, then we're open to the side direction. So my chest is open to the corner. And this is what I mean for squaring up. So we're going from the corner and then we're going to straight so we can push straight. Okay, good, awesome. Any other questions? Okay, let's put all those movements together and then we'll get one more practice in before we close class, okay? So starting at our right heel kick, start back here. Standing up or touching on the ground, your choice, arms are out. Parry, block, and punch. So we're gonna sit down, step out, one line to the side, change the arms, move the weight forward, step out, show blocking, making a fist so we can punch. Apparent closing up, circling the arms, pulling back, sitting up the palms so that we can push. Cross hands, move back, turning, chop to the corner, rotate the arms, step in shoulder width, right arm ends up on the outside. Great. Good practice. Okay, any questions? All right. So we're gonna do the whole section one more time before we close class, all right? You guys ready? We've completed the whole thing. It's a great way to start Christmas. Okay, so starting at cross hands. Shoulders width, right arm on the outside. Embrace the tiger. Moving the weight, turning, separate the arms, open up, strike, roll back, connect, and turn. Circle, touch the forearm so we can press out. Open up, coming back so we can sit up the palms and Push, fist under elbow, flatten the arms, left arm pulls first, big circling, turning the foot, and then pushing out to the side. Step, warding off, rotate the palm, making a fist, empty stance on the heel. Repulse monkey, circle, step, Rotating on the heel, number two. Natural step back, one arm forward, one back. Number three.
step, strike. Diagonal flying, circle the arms, stepping out, showing splitting energy. Raise hands, open up, change to an empty stance on the heel as we close the arms. White crane, circle, step, spread your wings, empty stance on the toes. Brush knee, two circles, open up, strike. Needle at sea bottom, stepping closer, coming up on the heel, changing to the toes so we can sit down. Fan through the back, touching the wrist, both stance, one arm forward, one back. Turn body. Making a fist so we can chop, not very much weight, strike into our bow stance. Parry, block, and punch. Connect out, circle down, circle out to the side, block, and punch. Grasping the bird's tail. Ward off, right. Roll back. Press. And push. Single whip. Flatten the arms, left arm pulls first, big circle. Chest level out to the side, make a hook. Bow stance, strike. Wave hands like clouds, move back, turning, arms come to the side. Show pulling, open the hook. Shoulder width step, shoulders to the corner. Number two, rotating the arms, shoulder width again. And number three, this time stepping to the corner, single whip. High pad on horse, move back, empty stance on the toes, one forward, one back with the arms. Separation kicks, horizontal circling, stepping out, Close the arms, stand up, look, kick, bend the knee, change the arms. Sitting down, separation kick with the left leg. Close, stand up, look, kick, bend the knee. Turning to the side, straighten the leg, Turn, sit down if you'd like, stand up, curl back the toes, heel kick, bend the knee. Brush knee, right arm comes in front, two circles, step, open, strike. The other side, transition, two circles, step, open, strike. Punching down, transition just like brush knee. Right hand comes to the hip, making a fist, open up, punching to the knee. Turn body, circling so we can chop with fist, not very much weight because we need to bring it into our bow stance and strike. Parry, block and punch, connect out, circle down, Circle to the side, hold back as you step, and hunch. Right heel kick. Connect, circle, stand up, curl back the toes, kick, bend the knee. Strike tiger, stepping on one line. 
Arm comes across, step, look for your bow stance, circle, making two fists at the end. Move back the weight, arms don't change for the other side. Arms settle down on the left, pick up, step, look, two circles, make the fists. Connecting out for our right heel kick, circling, standing up, open the fists as we kick. Turn body, so turning on the heel for twin fists, connect the ground and strike to your opponent's temples. Circling the arms down, open up the fists as you stand up, curl back the toes, kick, bend the knee. One more turn, reaching out, turning all the way or walk it around. Right arm circles to meet, stand up, curl back the toes, kick, parry block and punch, stepping down, open to the corner, hold back, making a fist and punch. Apparent closing up, circle the arms, breaking the grab, squaring up, hands in front of the chest and pushing out. Cross hands, chopping to the corner, foot comes to straight, circle the arms, right arm on the outside, and then we're gonna do that closing, standing up, rotate the arms, upper arms, forearms, palms, all the way down before we return to the original position. Nice. Great work today, everyone. You made it through the second section, good job. So we're gonna restart class on January 6th, like Nancy said, and I hope everyone can join me. But in the meantime, I hope you have a happy holiday, Merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Cheryl. You're the best. <laughs> Are you going to be sending out messages or a link for starting in January? I believe it 